Welcome to my lecture online. Often we're confused when we end up with a problem like this where there appear to be missing terms. Notice we only have x to the fifth, x to the third, and the constant in the numerator. What happened to x to the fourth, x squared, x to the first power? Well, what we should do is we should add those terms in there and put a zero in front of them to get a feel of what that actually should look like. So in other words, we're going to rewrite this as follows. 4x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth, because we don't have any of them, minus 5x cubed plus 0x squared, again, because we don't have any of those, plus 0 times x to the first power, and then minus 6. Notice that this is exactly the same as what we have in the numerator, but now we have what we call placeholders for those missing terms, and then we we'll divide the whole thing by 2x plus 1. And that's what we're looking for. And now we're going to take this and put that in the form so we can do longhand division. So that means we end up with 4x to the fifth. And then we're going to divide the whole thing by 2x plus 1. And also, let's say that we didn't have all the terms in the denominator. If this was 2x squared, then we would have to add the 0x to the first term. But in this case, we don't have to do it for the denominator. All right, since we have two terms here, we're going to use two terms here at the time. We need some expression here that when we multiply times 2x, we get 4x to the fifth. So 2x to the fourth comes to mind because 2x to the fourth times 2x gives us 4x to the fifth. And then 2x to the fourth times plus 1 gives us plus 2x to the fourth. And then we subtract these from the two terms above. So this minus this is 0, and this minus this is a minus 2x to the fourth. So that's how we go about it. Now we drop down the next term, which is a minus 5x to the third. And now we ask the question, what times 2x gives us a minus 2x to the fourth? It looks like minus x cubed. Minus x cubed times 2x gives us minus 2x to the fourth. And minus x cubed times 1 gives us a minus x cubed. Now we're going to subtract those from the two above. This minus this gives us zero, and minus 5x cubed minus times and minus makes it a plus, so plus x cubed minus this gives us minus 4x cubed. Now what do we do? We drop down the next term, even though it's a zero x squared, so we get zero plus zero x squared. And again, we ask the question, what times two x gives us a minus 4x cubed? So it looks like a minus 2x squared minus 2x squared times this gives us minus 4x cubed and minus 2x squared times 1 gives us a minus 2x squared and we're going to subtract those from what's above this minus this gives us 0 this minus times a minus makes that plus plus 2x squared again we drop down the next term we get plus 0x what times 2x gives us a 2x squared, it looks like plus x. x times 2x gives us a 2x squared, and x times a 1 gives us plus x. We're going to subtract that from what's above. This minus this is 0, and this minus x is a minus x. Now we're almost done. Now we drop down the last term. We get minus 6. What? times 2x gives us a minus x. Well, it looks like a minus 1 half. Minus 1 half times a 2x gives us a minus x. And minus 1 half times a 1 gives us a minus 1 half. Again, we subtract that from what's above. This minus this gives us 0. This minus times a minus becomes plus. That gives us minus 5 and a half, like that or minus 5.5. So this here is the remainder. And so we can say that the result of that is equal to, now we take this as our answer. So this becomes 2x to the fourth with a remainder equal to minus 5 and a half. And that is the solution using the longhand division. And on the next video, we'll try to do the same thing using synthetic division to see how that works. And again, notice we're going to have a fractional root. But again, we now know how to deal with that. So we'll show you what that looks like when we do it with synthetic division. At least this is how it's done with long division.